as most of you drivers know, when you get a pigtail that moves around a lot like that, you end up with the flickering lights. And those lights in the back, sometimes you can see it in your mirror, sometimes you can't. Because sometimes it's just the lights on the top and on the back. But the simple solution is the same. You take a paper clip, which is, I think is a bad idea because they break off. Spread the prongs. That's a bad idea too because they can break. But you jam something up in there to fill the gap to hold the pigtail steady. There's lots of different ways. Lots of drivers have their opinions. I've tried all of them. Most of them work most of the time, but it's when they don't work, it's just frustrating because you got to find a different solution to get your pigtail lights to stay on. So of course I've come up with the pigtail wedge. Simple little plastic tool. It's thin at the tip. It's thicker as it goes back. So it works on almost every trailer. Some trailers it'll go in a little bit and some trailers it'll go in a lot. But with the lanyard, you tie it on and loop it back through itself. So it stays there and it's hanging there. It's the same thing. Move the pigtail back and forth. Figure out where you need it to uh, keep the lights on. Slide it in. <clears throat> and you got, <clears throat> you got lights. The thing with the lanyard is because it's always there, if it falls out for any reason, that you don't lose it. And when you stick it in the cradle, it's always there. So the next time you need it, <clears throat> plug it in, got your pigtail wedge. And of course I use it every single trailer that I hook to so I don't have problems rolling down the road. Prevent the problem before it ever starts. That is the pigtail wedge. I sell it on my website, prodriverproject.com slash pigtail.